Hello and welcome to a demonstration using the Casio FX9750 G3 calculator. In this demonstration, we shall demonstrate how to convert from radian mode to degree mode and also to grad mode. Uh, grad is not used very often, but uh, there is a mode for it on the calculator. Uh, the default is radians and the conversions are listed below. Uh, one radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. Uh, one degree is pi over 180 radians, which is approximately 0 0.0175 radians. One grad is equal to 0.9 degrees, or 100 grads is equal to 90 degrees. Uh, one grad is equal to pi over 200 radians, which is approximately 0 0.0157 radians. Now, Let's perform a calculation in degree mode. So in order to, we'll make this normal and we'll kind of scoot this over a little bit. We'll also make the uh, key pad normal. So it's a little bit easier to see. And we will also uh, go ahead and perform these calculations. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to perform a calculation in degree mode, and we're going to take the sine of 30 degrees. So here we are going to go ahead and get into, let me go ahead and go to the menu. Uh, with the menu here, uh, we're going to go under uh, basically the execute, the very first one here, very first icon, icon one. And then we'll go ahead and hit shift and menu. That brings us to the setup. And we're going to scroll down until we get to the angle line, which is the very last line on this first screen. And when I get there, I see that I have degree mode. I have radian mode and I have grad mode. So I'm going to hit F1 to put it in degree mode. Now we see that it's changed to DEG for degrees. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my calculation. So I will exit. Then I will type in sine of 30. And then I'll execute that. And here we get one half. So the sine of 30 degrees is one half. Now, if I want to perform the same calculation in radian mode, I can go ahead and hit shift and menu. Again, scroll down until you get to the, uh, to the angle uh, row. And here we're going to hit F2 for radian. And see, it changes it to rad. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, my calculation. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to hit sign, but this time I'm going to do parenthesis. And I'm going to hit shift times 10 to the x power. That's where my pi is. I'm going to divide this by six. Then I'm going to close that parenthesis and I'm going to hit execute. Okay. So when you are doing calculations, all right, if you're using uh, some kind of like radian measure or you wanna do a trig function with uh, some arithmetic involved, don't forget to put it all in parentheses. Otherwise it'll just take the sine of pi and then it will divide by six. You want to take pi divided by six and then take the sine of that result. So please remember the calculator does exactly what you tell it to do. And the calculator follows the order of operations precisely. Okay. Now let's say that we want to do a calculation in grad mode. Remember uh, that grad, 100 grads is equal to 90 degrees. So we've gone on ahead and hit the uh, shift button. And when I hit menu, we're going to go ahead and scroll back down to the angle row again. And this time we're going to hit F3, which is the GRA. And that changes it to grad mode. Okay, 
Now we're going to compute the sine of 33 and one third grads. So we'll go ahead and hit exit. We'll go ahead and hit sign. We'll go ahead and start typing uh, 33 and then dot. And then we'll just type out a bunch of threes after that. Uh, in this case, we're going to type out uh, 12 of them just to make sure that the calculator's memory is filled up with nothing but threes. And the calculator would interpret this as one third. And when I hit execute, I again get one half. And this is how the Casio calculator may be changed from radian mode to degree mode or from degree mode to grad mode or radian mode to grad mode when you're performing calculations that require such changes.